Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the topic of the delimitation exercise and what is the delimitation commission. So the delimitation exercise always remains in news. So what is it and what is the delimitation commission? So let's look at the points of discussion first about the news then what is delimitation exercise? What is the constitutional requirement of it? What are the issues associated with it? What is delimitation commission and in the end a prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 2 that is polity section from exam perspective and it has been asked by the UPSC in PYQ. What is delimitation exercise and about the delimitation commission. So let's begin the news talks about understanding the delimitation exercise. Now this is the whole scenario what is a delimitation exercise. So as if you will look at the word, what is this word? D limitation exercise. It means setting the limit of something. So, what is delimitation exercise? Let us first see the news. So, delimitation of constituencies for the Lok Sabha and state legislative assemblies is to be carried out on the basis of the first census after the year 2026. And 2021 census was originally postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So, this is the news. Now, let's see and listen to first a few things. So, if we talk about parliament, the Indian political system, then parliament has Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and president. And then if we talk about the legislators, then on the national level, we have the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha and on the state level we have the legislative assembly and the legislative councils. So, whenever elections take place, so during the Lok Sabha elections what happens and, and also with regard to the legislative assembly elections, what happens is you will always hear that from this constituency uh, this person is standing. Now, what is this constituency? So, every state, within every state, there are many constituencies. So, how is those constituencies set and what is the boundaries of those constituencies? How is it, how it was fixed that this much area comes within that constituency? So, this is what is the work of the delimitation commission and this is what is the delimitation exercise that setting the boundary of a constituency is what is the work of the delimitation. Now, what is delimitation? Now, the process of fixing the number of seats and boundaries of territorial constituencies in each state for the Lok Sabha and Legislative Assemblies. Now, whenever the Lok Sabha election is taking place, now imagine there is a state Uttar Pradesh and if we talk about, then Uttar Pradesh is big, it is very huge in size. Now, if the state is so big in size, then there, there cannot be one person who can govern the state. So, you need to have different, different MLAs of those state. Or those MLAs when they with regard to the state elections is member of legislative assembly and with regard to the Lok Sabha then they are MPs that is member of parliament. So, to govern a state like Uttar Pradesh you need, you need many people, you need representative from different, different constituencies and then how many seats will that state have. So, what is the process of the delimitation is that it is a process of fixing the number of seats. Now, for example, if this is Uttar Pradesh, it will be divided into many territorial constituencies and then it will be fixed that the number of seats from that state will be fixed. It is not that the number of seats in the Lok Sabha or in the state legislative assembly, the number of seats cannot be keep changing year after year. It needs to be fixed. So, this fixing of the seats and fixing of the territorial boundaries within a state is what is the work of the delimitation and this is what is delimitation exercise. 
then determining the seats to be reserved for the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe in these houses so the delimitation the delimitation exercise is a process of fixing the number of seats boundaries of territorial constituencies in each state and it also determines the seats to be reserved by the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe in these houses houses means the lok sabha and the state legislative assemblies so this is the work of the delimitation exercise and if we talk from the constitutional perspective then article 82 and article 170 it talks about the number of seats in the lok sabha and the state legislative assembly as well as its division into territorial constituencies shall be readjusted after each census so it talks about that after each census now census is a decadal process it means that in 10 years one census comes so after each census so it means that for the delimitation exercise to take place census is a prerequisite condition so after each census delimitation exercise would be done and on the basis of the delimitation exercises the territorial constituencies shall be readjusted now if we talk about this year then the census was supposed to happen in the year 2021 but it could not happen because of the covid pandemic so the covid pandemic delayed the census so the census could not take place so the delimitation exercise also could not take place so the readjustment of the number of seats or the or the territorial boundaries also could not take place so after the census will come then only the delimitation exercise would be happening then the delimitation exercise is performed by the delimitation commission so it is a delimitation commission sets set, get sets up and that delimitation commission looks into the delimitation exercise and the delimitation exercise has been carried out in 1951 1961 and 1971 census so after these census the delimitation exercise has been carried out now if we talk about the constitutional requirement then it is the number of seats in the lok sabha so if we talk about from the perspective of lok sabha then in the year 1951 the number of seats was 494 and the, the population was 36.1 crore then in the year 1961 the number of seats increased to 522 while the population was 43.9 crore and then if we talk about the exercise which took place in the year 1971 then the seats again increased from 522 to 543 and the population was 54.8 crore now this was the population and this is how the number of seats has increased in the last so many exercises and now it has been predicted and it has been said that after the census will come out and the delimitation exercise will again take place then the number of seats might increase now the delimitation exercise the limit has been frozen as per the 1971 census in order to encourage population control measures and the number will be readjusted based on the first census after 2026 and it has been predicted that the census will come out in the year 2026 so after the census which will come out in the year 2026 the delimitation exercise will take place and as of now it has been frozen at 1971 census so that is 543 seats in the lok sabha and this has been frozen because at that point of time the population was booming in our country and it was thought that if every single time it will keep on changing then the bigger states specifically the northern states like for example uttar pradesh bihar madhya pradesh and rajasthan which has bigger population and if we talk about with regard to the population then these states will have more number of seats as compared to the southern states because they have less population so this criteria cannot be there because this will create discrimination between the southern and the northern states because the population is less in the southern states it this cannot be the only measure that they have lower number of seats in the lok sabha as compared to the northern states now what are the issues so two options are with respect to the revised delimitation exercise which is based on the projected population of various states of the 2026 so there are two issues which can be predicted 
that if after census 2026 would come out these two issues will prevail so first is to continue with the existing 543 seats and their redistribution amongst various states because it is predicted that the number of seats will increase second to increase the number of seats to 848 with proportionate increase among various states so and second is it has been said that the number of seats it would be increased to 848 and it will be divided proportionally proportionally among the various states so if, we, if you will look at these tables then this table talks about if the number of seats is retained at 543 so number of seats at present number of seats projected so if, as of now up has 80 seats and if number of seats projected would be 91 Bihar has 40 number of projection is 50 Rajasthan 25 number of projection 31 MP 21 29 number of projection 33 so this is the number of seats which is projected now if we will look at this chart then it talks about if the number of seats is increased to 848 based on the projected population in 2026 so this is number of seats at present this is number of seats projected with regard to 848 so UP as of now has 80 number of seats projected is 143 so around 65% gain bihar as of now 40 69 rajasthan 25 50 mp 29 52 tamil nadu 39 49 so if we will see then the net gain and loss if we will talk about then if you will look at the southern states like tamil nadu is at 10% Andhra Telangana 12 Karnataka 13 Punjab 5 Uttarakhand 2 but on the other hand states like UP Bihar Rajasthan MP they will have almost double gain so this to avoid this situation that the northern states will be at a gain and because of the population they have they cannot be given the more number of seats so this is a issue which has been raised now if we talk about the delimitation commission then the delimitation commission looks after the delimitation exercise and it has been appointed by the president of india and article 82 the parliament enacts a delimitation act after every census but the census this year has not come or this decade has not come but after 2026 delimitation exercise might happen then the first delimitation exercise was carried out in the year 1950 51 and delimitation commissions have been set up till now four times 1952 63 73 and 2002 and the commissions order have the force of law and cannot be called in question before any court so whatever the delimitation commission says that cannot be challenged and it cannot be questioned before any court and it has the force of a law so this in itself tells about that delimitation commission is a powerful body in itself so you need to remember this point that its orders has the force of law and cannot be called in question before any court and then it is appointed by the president of india after every census for delimitation exercise 1950 51 now in the end of prelims mcq and you need to tell me the answer in the comment section and it is a pyq of the year 2012 with reference to the delimitation commission consider the following statements and you have to talk about the correct statement so there are two statements first the orders of the delimitation commission cannot be challenged in a court of law first second when the orders of the delimitation commission are laid before the lok sabha or state legislative assembly they cannot affect any modification in the orders so these are two questions do two statements i should say and the quotes given are one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications